Starting and running a business is hard, but you don't have to do it alone. Whether you're an established business owner or thinking about starting a side hustle to earn extra income, I am here to teach you how to show up as your unfiltered self, level up your business, and thrive as a mompreneur. Let's embrace the chaos and start enjoying the journey together. I'm Amy Tra, and you're listening to the Motivated Mompreneur Podcast. Welcome back into the Motivated Mompreneur Podcast. Today, I am talking with Jessica Eastman Stewart all about the concept of having an annual polish week in your business. And you may be thinking to yourself, what the heck does that mean? Well, mama, you are about to find out in this episode. We were just talking about it before we hit record and oh, I can't wait to learn more about this. So with that being said, Jessica, welcome into the podcast. Thank you. I'm so glad to be here. I have listened to many episodes of your podcast, and so it's really fun to get to be a guest today and share some um, things that I think will be really helpful for, um, you know, anybody who runs a business, but especially mamas like us who are very busy. Yes, yes. I I don't know of a mom that's not busy, you know, and even each season of life, it brings a different type of busy to the table. I found that in my Absolutely. life. How about you? <laughs> yes, it's like totally. The yeah, of I mean, busyness. right. And and yeah, I think the the magic is just figuring out what what is worth what busy are you choosing for this chapter? You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah. Because you know you can't um, you can't get you can't care about everything all the time. You know, like we <laughs> we can't yeah. be the the person who's like home cook meal on the table every night and volunteering at the school and taking care of our aging parents and reading a novel a week and going for runs every day and (laughs) kicking butt at work. And, you know, like we, all those things can't be true at the same time. So we have to figure out like, what is the thing that I'm going to be care about, you know, um, this, this season, you know, and and let the other things like, drop down, you know, we've got to figure out which of the balls are glass in the season, which of them are rubber, you know, and like, make sure we don't drop the balls that matter to us the most, you know? Oh my gosh. Yes. I could like, not, you know? not agree more because yeah, we forget yeah. that. And I think it's so powerful when you realize that and that's where you regain that control. So Jessica, tell us more about you, who you are, what you do and who you serve. Yeah, definitely. So um, I started my, you know, career as a classroom teacher, and then I was a co-founder of a nonprofit and spent a little over a decade building um, and working on that team. We did education policy advocacy. And these days, I care about folks finding more joy and ease at work and at home. So my, you know, area of genius is systems and routines to help make life a little easier and more joyful. And so that's what I do these days. Um, And it is so much fun. And I have two, I'm based in Northern California and I have two kiddos, age seven and eight. And um, I love that I get to, you know, build a business that allows me to um, help other folks and also the flexibility to be present for those kids. And, and, you know, also sometimes just be, I, I, I was just noticing, you can see the folks on listening can't, but I, my, my um, mug, I just had it made. I designed it. It says world's okayest mom, because sometimes I'm just world, the world's okayest mom, you know, uh, not the best mom all the time. And that's okay because uh, my kids don't need perfection. I don't think anybody's kids need perfection. Um, oh, yes. I love what I get to Yes, exactly. Because it's okay to be okay. You are the best mom for your kids. And that's, you know, we all get stuck in with these ideas of what we think that motherhood should look like, how we think we need to be running our businesses. And it's like, why? Why are we getting these thoughts in our head? It's okay to just be okay. And the more you accept that, the more fun it is. At least for me. It's freeing. It is. It really is. able to just, right? you know, take messy action, as you say, you know, mm-hmm. um, exactly. So you right. don't have to be perfect about it. Right. And life as a mom, it is messy. Like my life is messy and we are all just adapting and learning as we go. And that is the beauty of it right there. Right. So tell us more about this idea of a polish week. Where did you even come up with this idea first and foremost? And then explain to us what is a polish week? Yeah. So the idea originally came when I was leading a team at a nonprofit because I noticed that we were 
struggling to find space and time to do some of the polish work, um, you know, uh, to kind of help our work be more effective day to day. And so um, there were, I, we realized there was some kind of natural downtimes of our year. Um, and in the nonprofit space for us working in the education system, it was, you know, around the winter holidays was a common time where we got a little bit of breathing room. You know, we weren't hosting big events or having big external meetings, you know, during those time. Another time was in the summertime um, and we're a UA space nonprofit. And so around the 4th of July often was like a good time for us. You know, we weren't planning big, you know, report launches or big advocacy actions. Like it was more of a downtime. So typically twice a year, um, we started taking, um, you know, somewhere between two days and sometimes a whole week to do what we called a polish week, you know, take time to polish up our systems. And I can share lots of examples of what that meant for us and what it now means for me and my business. But it's really just this idea of taking an intentional pause to do the work that will allow every other day afterwards to be more effective and efficient because you took time to actually clean up your work systems and routines that would allow you to be better moving forward. That is amazing. And I love how you said intentional pause, because let's mm -hmm. face it, life is busy as we were talking about. And by taking the time, by being intentional and taking that pause, that's where you free yourself up for so many different opportunities. So tell us about some of the things that you polish up during polish week. What does that look like for you? Yeah, so it looks like things like um, taking time to update your computer software, right? Like I know that in a given day, we might be running from meeting to meeting or deadline to deadline. And so it can be easy to like say like, oh, yeah, I can't restart my computer right now. So like you click the later button, you know, so Polish Week is a time when you would say, you know what? OK, yes, download the new software. I have time to restart this computer at this point, you know, it could be literally cleaning up your physical space, right? Like if you have a bag that you're taking to an office, like emptying that bag, cleaning it up, freshening it up, making sure it has the stuff you need, cleaning off your desk, taking everything off and putting back only the things that you're using every day so that you're not fully cluttered. Like if you're not a stapler user, then like take the stapler and put it somewhere else, you know, like clear up that desk. Um, it could be the time to clean up or create browser bookmarks. Right, like maybe you bookmark that article that you're never going to read or that course that you're never going to take like delete that stuff clear it off your space, you know. Um, or take the time to actually create the bookmark to that project plan you go to every day or to this system that you're going to all the time for your work right. Um, it could be you know taking time to build in recurring reminders for things that you need to do like oh yeah, I do want to back up my email list once a month. So let me set up a system that either will automate that for me or ask my VA to do it once a month or I'll do it once a month. But either way, it's taking the time to say, that's a thing I want to do. Or maybe each month you want to keep track of your social media metrics or your email metrics and put them into a spreadsheet. So you say, how many, you know, what's my email open rate looking like? Or what's my subscriber count looking like? Or my social media follower information and like actually taking a minute to do that. And so it's like setting up the systems you would need to do those monthly tasks. Maybe it's simply financial tasks. Like I want to do A, B, and C thing every week or every month. It's like Polish week is a time to set that kind of structure up for yourself that allows you to be more effective moving forward. Um, it's a time to, you know, audit your current systems. Maybe you have a recurring weekly meeting with your VA and you realize like, we've been working together for a year. We don't actually need a meeting every week. We're good. Let's just continue communicating in Asana or Slack or email or whatever our system is. And we don't actually need that meeting. You know, um, you know, we would at the nonprofit revisit our calendar and say like, you know, I would think like, you know what, I've been working with this staff member for five years and we don't actually need a meeting every week. We will meet every other week. But this new person that I hired three months ago, like 
we actually need to meet twice a week, <laughs> you know, because like we are currently working on these projects. So it was a chance to call the question on a lot of the systems we have, a lot of the recurring practices. Um, it's a time to like go through and unsubscribe from emails. You know, it's a time to turn off notifications. Um, like we probably should be turning off almost all notifications in our lives. You know, this is the time to open up your phone, go to the notification settings and say like, Domino's Pizza can definitely stop sending me push notifications on my phone, you know, and so can this other app and this other thing, you know, or I want to get this one because it's from my kid's school, you know, but I definitely don't want to get it from like, you know, Bed Bath and Beyond, like, please stop emailing me and I'm going to unsubscribe from your app notifications too, you know, um, so those are the kinds of things that folks can do if they take a polished day. I mean, this could be a thing you do once a quarter. You know, it could be a thing you do a whole week once a year. You know, it really can work in a lot of different ways, but it's really the idea of taking an intentional pause, like we said, to clean things up in your business and in your, your work so that you can be more effective every day moving forward. Yes, yes. And I just see what an impact this would have on so many levels. I mean, everything from productivity, from your ability to focus. I mean, it has been shown in study after study, the impact of our environment around us. So like you said, even mm -hmm. just taking the time to clear off the stuff that you don't use that's on your desk. I mean, that visual clutter is competing for your attention. And two, yeah. you're just talking about just all of those, those notifications. I mean, it is crazy how we've become just slaves to these devices it's like okay uh -huh. you know you you get into something and then the ding goes off of your email and so you go and look at uh -huh. the email then you go down the rabbit hole and then 10 minutes later you're like oh wait what was i doing what did i even get on here for? right so really i it love takes that so long right. yeah to right. re to refocus exactly and it's like do we need to do we need to even have to answer the question do i have new email like you already know the answer. It's yes. <laughs> you know, like, but, um, we don't need to be pinged every time, right? Like we need that, that focus time. So, but it can also be, you know, it can be hard to be like, oh, I wish I would stop getting the notifications for that thing. But figuring out like, how do I even turn off those notifications? Where do I go in my phone? Or where do I go in this Slack app on my computer? Like, it, it's not a thing that we do every day is like turn off notifications. So for many of us, taking the time to do it can be some, you know, like it, that energy of like, how do I even do that? It can be hard. So a polished day or a polished week is the time when you're like, okay, I have cleared off my calendar. I have, I have, you know, pushed off some deadlines and it actually is a space to be like, okay, let me actually figure this out. You know, you might even need to Google, like, how do I turn off notifications for this thing? You might need to research it for a minute, you know, but this is the time when you say, I'm going to take the time to figure it out right. because it is worth all the future notifications I have now like stopping, you know, like there are dozens of notifications that will no longer bother me because I took three to five minutes to figure out how to turn them off, you know? Um, but sometimes yeah. in a day to day, finding three to five minutes can feel hard you know, when you're trying to focus on other things or you've got things to do in your business. So that's what I love about this concept is it gives you a minute and the space and the permission to actually pause and say, you know what, I'm actually going to get out the like wipes and like wipe off my desk, you know, and it's yeah. going to be fresh and new and it's going to be amazing, you know, and I'm going to have these things turned off and I'm going to clear this off and delete these things and, you know, update the software and defragment the hard drive. I mean, Think of all the the clear energy you're going to have, you know, um, when you do this. So it, it, it can be a lovely thing. Oh, absolutely it is. And I'm a firm believer in that, you know, as moms, we are never going to find the time to do something. Right. It is so much easier to just hit that delete button on an email than take the mm -hmm. three to five seconds. But you think about it over and over and over and over, that time adds up so much. So by just scheduling this polish week, polish day, however you can fit it in to your schedule to make it work, taking this in time to intentionally pause, 
the possibilities are endless. You will end up saving yourself so much time because now you're streamlining. You're eliminating those distractions. You're identifying places that you can automate things. You can really streamline. You have to make the time though because let's face it, we Mm -hmm. are busy and we will not make the time. We will find other tasks to fill in the time instead of, oh yeah, I should just actually do this. So the idea of this, I think is so important to implement. Yeah. And I think if folks are feeling like they don't have the time, you know, to do this tomorrow or even next week, I think the key is it's okay if you can't do it immediately, but what if you were to say, you know, I'm going to find two days or one week next month or in two months, and I'm going to put it now on my calendar. This is my polished day. And even title it in your calendar, like, this is your polished day. Do not schedule other stuff. You know, like, call it that on your calendar, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., make it a thing, and just, you know, give yourself that permission to say, okay, I'm going to block out that day. You know, it's going to be two months from now. It's going to be three weeks from now, whatever it looks like. And just give yourself that space. And, you know, if folks need a resource, I mean, I'll, I can share this um, at the end of the episode, but I've got some free resources that support folks to be able to get started on this. But, um, you know, the most important thing is to commit to say, I want to do this and to go find some time in the future in your calendar to block off and give yourself some space. And you can also make it a fun kind of game, you know, do it with a friend or a business bestie and say, we're both going to do it. And we're going to hold ourselves accountable to not taking meetings on those days to not, you know, writing emails on those days for your list, you know, like take the time to really say, this is about cleaning up my own systems to make me more effective. And you could even gamify it, you know, set a timer and say, how many email lists can I unsubscribe from? in 15 minutes, you know, and then just like make a a hashtag, a hash mark on, you know, on your piece of paper every time you unsubscribe and just be like, wow, I just unsubscribed from 17 lists that I no longer need in my life, um, you know, in, in that amount of time. And like, that's so fun and it's time bound, but you can make an impact in 15 minutes. Um, or, you know, set up filters, you know, in your email system. So they go to a folder and you're like, this is where my newsletters go. And, you know, these are the newsletters that I like to read. I don't want to unsubscribe from, but I don't even need them in my inbox. You know, nice. um, those are some of the things you can do during a polish week that take a little bit of time to set up. Not too long. We're talking in a number of minutes, not hours. These are things that takes, you know, small, single digit number of minutes, but they create so much freedom and clarity for you to be able to be more effective in whatever it is that you really care about. Yeah. And that's truly what it's all about. And two things you said in that were, you know, number one, just giving yourself the permission to do it, to take the time to do it, because we forget to take that intentional pause and you need to zoom out in your business and see that 30,000 foot view. So many times we get so hyper-focused on what's coming up, what needs done, this, that, the other, we get into such a reactive mode that we're not actually being proactive and taking these steps that... Yeah, it takes a little bit of time, but like you said, it's not hours of time, but it really Mm -hmm. streamlines things. And number two, commit to it. Schedule a time on the calendar. You owe it to yourself. Do it for yourself because yes, we are needing to work smarter, not harder. You know, really analyze why am I doing this task? Do I need to be the one doing this task? Can I set up an automation? Can I set up, you know, can I outsource this task? So many times I think we feel like we have to do every single thing when the reality is that's not true. That's just a story we're telling ourselves, right? Right, right. And and there's so much you could even discover that you wouldn't even plan ahead. Like if you made a plan for like, I'm going to do these 15 things during my polish days, um, you're going to, you might be in there and realizing like, wait, do I even have to do this myself? Could I be outsourcing this in a way? Is there a way to automate this? And a polished day, because if you've created that intentional space, you're much more likely to, while you're there, get inspired by like, let me look into how I might do this in a better way, or should I even be doing this anyway? You know, and that space you've created will 
be where your genius ideas about how to do things better in your business come just because you've created the space to do them. So um, every time I take time to have a polished week or a polished day, I come up with things that I didn't even plan ahead. But because I created that intentional space, like my creativity and my ability to solve problems and come up with smarter ways of doing things always comes out like literally every time there's some new like business win that I get because I took the time, you know, that I wasn't even planning to do in that situation. So it comes for everybody that I know that has taken time to do something like this is that that's when they're coming up with really good ideas about how to make their business more efficient or more strategic in a way that they didn't even expect. Right, right. You're allowing yourself that space. And then that gives you that ability then to focus on what's really important. So I absolutely see the benefit of this. And I can see too how it would create momentum. You know, you you gamify it. You start yeah. you know, unsubscribing and you're like, wow, this feels really good. I'm not <laughs> having to right. hit delete constantly on my inbox or I'm not opening up and sifting through things and trying to sort for that one email I know was sent, but it's buried amongst the others and it won't come up in the search option. And, you know, it just it it makes sense. So, I mean, I highly encourage you, if you are listening to this, make the time, put it on the calendar. And when you do take the time to have a polish week, tag Jessica, because this is just yes. going to be a game changer <laughs> for anyone that takes the time to do this. We all need to take the time and make the time to create an intentional pause in our business. Yeah, because you're right. That's where that creativity flows then because you're back in your zone of genius. It's beautiful. Exactly. Absolutely beautiful. Jessica, thank you so much for introducing this concept to us. Where can we learn more and how can we get into your world? Yeah, of course. So um, I have a free Polish Week checklist that folks can find. It's on my website at jessicaeastmanstewart.com slash freebies. And there's a whole host of other free resources that folks can find. If folks want to take this a step further, I actually have a whole course on how to do a Polish Week that comes with a lot of other templates and how to do it with a whole team and video guidance and all sorts of great stuff. That's at polishweek.com. And if folks are on social media, I share resources for parents at Joyfully Managed Family on Instagram every day. So you can find me for like home focused stuff there. And then I'm serving resources for, you know, folks at work and in their business on LinkedIn. And you can find me there at Jessica Eastman Stewart. And so I'd love to be in touch with folks and definitely tag me if you do a Polish week or a Polish day, I'll be cheering you on. Um, And, you know, I would love to uh, know that you're doing that. That would absolutely make my day. Oh my gosh, incredible. Thank you, Jessica, so much for taking time to pour into our community today. This is going to make such a difference in the lives of so many of our listeners. Yeah. And until next time. Yes, absolutely. It was my pleasure. And until next time, stop dreaming and start taking messy action. You've got this. Are you loving what you're hearing? Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss an episode. 